It all started on a Thursday, the gray and rainy kind. Like most tough cases, this one began just as I was getting ready to close up shop for the evening. And like most impossible cases, this one started with a dame. It's open. Is this the first detective agency? It is. Am I addressing Mr. First? You are. John Q. First, at your service. Always first to crack the case. Lousy slogan, I know. Well, won't you sit down? Thank you. Well, Mr. First, I hope that you can solve my case without cracking anything. You see, I'm looking to recover a priceless item. Yeah. Everything's got a price, doll. Not this item. It's an ancient artifact, thousands of years old. The Lamp of Aletheia. It was stolen recently from my family, and we'd very much like it back. Let me get this straight. We're talking about an old oil lamp? Yes, a golden oil lamp. Oh, a golden one. Does it say property of Alibaba on it? And tell me, does the genie inside really sing? Well, Mr. First, this lamp contains something much more powerful than a genie. Really? Such as? Let's just say that the light of Aletheia is something for which mankind has long since the very beginning. Okay. Do you have any leads on who stole the lamp? Yes. The Wise Guys Gang. Have you ever heard of them? Who hasn't? They're not particularly wise, but they are deadly. How did a nice girl like you get mixed up with the Wise Guys? They heard I had the lamp, and they wanted to control its light. I was willing to share, but they were more interested in a monopoly. You will help me, won't you, Mr. First? The lamp was only entrusted to me. The light of Aletheia is meant for everyone. Please, please say you'll help me. Well, now, that depends. Depends on what? Depends on whether or not you can afford my finder's fee, and whether I get a cut of those three wishes. It all sounded like a bad joke to me. The kind that starts with a bunch of wise guys and a magic lamp and ends with a detective getting shot. But this dame seemed sincere enough and she was offering cash up front. So I took the case. Of course, once I did a little research, I realized that, as usual, things were more complicated than they appeared. Turns out, aletheia means truth in ancient Greek. So, here I was, searching for the light of truth, and I wasn't even sure if I believed in it. I mean, what is truth? In the days that followed, as I chased leads all over town, I had plenty of time to ponder that question. Is truth just something that each of us creates in our own mind? Is it a shadow that we can never really grasp? Or is truth something more concrete? Like an ancient artifact, something we can manipulate for personal gain. Seems that's the way the wise guys saw it. For them, Aletheia was all about power. So, 
Naturally, they got a little peeved when I stole it back from them. Okay, wise guys, let's see how smart you really are. You give me the magic lamp, and I won't give you a bad case of lead poisoning. Uh, here. See, that was a wise decision. <laughs> Stupid gumshoe. Man, I told you this was going to end with me getting shot. But it didn't end there. In fact, at the conclusion of my search, in my hour of most desperate need, I came to a realization. Truth isn't just a matter of opinion. It's much more absolute. It's also not an object or a dogma that can be stolen or controlled. You see, when it comes right down to it, truth, the truth, is a person. And in the end, knowing him makes all the difference in the world.